All right, I'm not going to lie. Like, you can tell Dome Keeper hasn't been going. I've, I've been having a great time with it, but it hasn't been going that well from a score attack standpoint because of the fact that um, every single highlight I make of this ends up with a title like, damn, he really be ass with it. He's kind of assy with it lately. Damn, he's kind of horrible with it. Kind of stupid with it lately. I'm hoping that we can maybe bring it back a little bit. <laughs> I really think I need like a teleporter. I think I need an early teleporter. Let me start prediction. We'll start with this casino. Will we break 500 score? Yes or no? Why would I phrase it like that? Will we break 500 score? The files are in the computer. <clears throat> we're gonna try sword. We're gonna try, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna, you know what? It's the Kiwi. We gotta go cat. That's the problem. <clears throat> Hey, NL, any new games this week? I don't know. I'm not in the business of making games. I'm in the business of piggybacking on the, the shoulders of giants. Um, you'd really have to ask someone involved in the, in the production side of the industry for that one. I wish I had the, the tools to tell you, but I don't. Let me see here. I'm going to start... I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to start with carrying capacity. We get four early? Give me some carrying capacity so we can carry it up a little faster. Holy cow, the earliest triangles you'll ever see. Pretty helpful. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, NL, I keep contributing to the, tot uh, the cult's totem. Yes, I've seen that. I would like to uh, discourage you from that kind of behavior. But I, um, I mean, I can stop you, but I also see it kind of like when you get like a voicemail that you like don't want and people are like, hey, call me back. And then if you, you're like, I'm never going to call you back. And then if you don't call them back, they just keep calling you. You know what I mean? It's like your, your addiction to the memory of the cult's totem. That's not my problem. That, that's, that's very far down my priority list right now. It's a good idea. We could remove the cooldown on it. Perfect timing by accident. Um, 500 seems super high. Well, like, you say that now just because we haven't gotten it in uh, oh, four days. But there was a time. There was a time where people were like, oh, 500 is so easy that there's no point in betting on, like, there's no point in even running the casino. But times have changed. Hey, NL, how do you manage uh, pet care in a household with pets? Okay, let me, let me give you a hot tip, okay? This, uh, it might sound like forehead, but it's, it's not forehead. There's really only two things you can do when it comes to uh, dealing with mess. One is clean more. I understand that's the forehead part. The other one is have lower standards. So I would say that I deal with it through a combination of those two, um, of those two techniques. And I, uh, by the way, I feel like both of them are valid. I feel like it's folly to expect to always have a 100% clean house. Tidy house, sure. But uh, a, a house that's flawlessly clean at all times, it, it's not possible. You're, you'll, you'll spend the rest of your life trying to maintain it because as soon as it dips a little bit, you know, you're, it, then you got to go right back to it. I'm, I'm willing to get the wave timer. I just want to know. I was just a little, I was a little scared. I'm not afraid to admit it. Let me get some speed. <clears throat> okay, I'm going back up. Just wanted one more. Yeah, the most the most f fruitless task is to fight entropy. That's pretty much exactly what I said. That's what I meant anyway, but uh, I I couldn't phrase it as elegantly as you. It is true, though. I mean, I'm, I'm not as bad as I used to be. Um, 
But I'm something of a of a a clean nihilist, if that makes sense. I know it sounds like a super auto pets team. Um, I have a certain nihilism about cleaning, which is to say, why would I uh, vacuum today if I could just vacuum tomorrow instead? I know how it sounds. Sometimes you gotta, but tomorrow is going to be dirtier. And in the next day, there will be a need to vacuum as well. So why not just do the vacuuming uh, tomorrow and then save myself one vacuum? Now, it's not 100% infallible, obviously. You got people coming over or like you're stepping on dirt all the time. Like that, I could understand that being a case, but people are like, just get a cleaning service. But that doesn't like it, it cleans your house, but that doesn't deal with mess. The only way to deal with mess is to make less of it or clean it up as soon as it gets created. Otherwise, like a cleaning service will clean your house, but then like six days later, you're like, what the hell? It's dirty again. Anyway, by the way, you might think that that means I live in a pigsty. It's not the case. We actually live in a very clean house. Now, most of that is because my wife cleans a lot, but over the last decade of living together, it's also brought up my standards of cleanliness quite a lot. So I, 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 especially, like, I'm just going to be honest with you. If you're, like, in your 30s, you haven't cohabited, cohabitated with a, uh, a, a neat person uh, for a long time. If you've been living a bachelor life and you're in your, like, mid-30s as a man, you're not, like, a, a neat freak by, the, the, you know, your own creation, it's probably too late for you. I don't think you could make it back. You ever seen, like, a 50-year-old lifelong bachelor's house? There's no hope. The, the amount of remedial work that they have to go through in order to just reach a standard of acceptability, they're too far gone. That's why they're like, I'm not going to get married ever. Haha, ha, Rids, thank you. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry to say. He's sandbagging the desk on it. Well, like, my desk is a little messy. I'm not going to lie. At the same time, I've also been on, like, double duty, um, like, work, family sick, doing 100% of the baby stuff post, uh, like, 9 a.m. Like, I've been really waking up one to four times every night. To, like, last night, it was about uh, midnight. Baby went to bed at like 9.15 or something like that. Around midnight, put my head on the pillow. Baby starts crying. I go in. Daddy, I want a hug. Daddy, I want a hug. I go in. I pick her up out of the crib. She falls asleep on my shoulder. Very cute moment until you're in it. And then like a minute later, I'm like, oh, what the hell am I going to do? Because if I put her down in the crib, she's going to start to cry. I can't hold her for eight hours. That's idiocy. That's like some god of war... We, being a good dad is holding your child for eight hours straight and getting no sleep, sort of like machismo, like sensitive machismo. <clears throat> anyway, I just I put her down in the crib and then I held her hand for like 20 minutes until she fell asleep. You truly can use your kid as an excuse to weasel your way out of everything? Yeah, like here, okay, Gen Z, millennials, if you're watching this, you're probably not. I appeal mostly to the boomer and the silent generation crowd. Uh, right now, you use the economy, and Jeff Bezos doesn't pay his taxes. That's an excuse for everything. Why even bother? The climate crisis is going to come and drown us all. Just have a kid. And then you've got two excuses that you can use for everything. It's a natural progression. I don't, when you're born, I don't need to do anything. I'm a little kid. Then you're like, uh, uh, you know, in college maybe. I don't need to do anything. I'm a student. Then I don't need to do anything. What's the point of doing anything? Not climate nihilism. Then I have a child. Then you're old. Then you're, or maybe before you get old, you're like, I worked my whole life. I don't have to do the dishes now. Then you turn about, you know, 60, 65. And then you're like, I'm too old to do anything. And then you fucking die. That's how you get out of everything for your whole life. Okay. There you go. Why am I typing in chat? I want to, I want to, I have six, six squares burning a hole in my pocket. With one water, I'm going to level with you. I'm getting early deflect. Honestly, just so you shut up. <laughs> just so you shut your damn mouth. 
Based, based, based. He's saying false things. We're pretending they're based. Based, 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 based. Look at that. So simple. Okay, we need a gadget. You ever see the video? And I know the answer is yes. But you ever see the video of Bill Nye? On, well, the, like a bunch of drunk girls in, in Vegas get on an elevator? Please be a teleporter. And then they're like, woo, woo! And then the doors open up on the next floor, and it's just fucking Bill Nye. And he's like, oh, hello. And then everyone's like, oh my god, it's Bill Nye. It's a great video. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm taking early condenser. And I know we take it every time. I know it never works. Video title, note to self, slash marker me. Video title. <clears throat> I know condenser never works. But what if it does? Okay, Commander Bun. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. It's a, for, any, for any millennials in the audience, this is a direct riff on um, one of my favorite lines from Arrested Development. Well, we could try an open marriage. Do those things ever work? No, of course not. People just delude themselves into thinking they could. But it could work for us. And, okay, we got, you know what? Uh, I, um, toxic fumes is insane. Even though debilitate is also good, I'm, I'm, I believe in the toxic fumes. I'm going early with her. And then with two of these, you know what? Let me um, let me invest in a little score early. I know it's a little crazy. No, it's a little, it's a little zany with it. Hey, hey, uh, get smacked, get killed. Hey, Bella Capelli, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Two entire points. What the hell? Every, whenever I say something like, oh, it's only two points, people are like, that's a 100% increase. Then whenever I'm excited about it, people are like, oh, one extra point. <laughs> I'm starting to see the, the double stand. You know, have I told you my theory about nobody on Earth has it harder than streamers? I can't remember if I've mentioned that one before. Hello, 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 thank you. That's a lot of nuts. I thought I, well, I do have carrying capacity. This is just like, it's just heavy, I guess. You want fries with that? Dude, I, when I was on r slash stupid food last night, like don't even get me started. Why are the stupidest foods on the planet? And I'm not saying they're stupid, like, in abstract. I mean, like, in practice. We, we were talking about the $1,000 steak served in a Quentin Tarantino briefcase where, like, one of Donald Trump's sons smashes it with a, a hot branding iron and just completely ruins the meat. And then they go, oh! oh, oh. Anyway. Um, why are the stupid... I, I have a theory, which is that the stupidest foods are actually from a result of the pickiest eaters. I know that people are probably not going to be stoked about that. I know they're probably not going to love that I'm saying it. But the, the two most common stupid foods I see on the internet are steaks and burgers. Where in, instead of making like a, a good meal, they're like, what if we just like fucked with a steak or made like an insane hamburger? That's my hypothesis. Would love to know your thoughts, unless you're a picky eater, in which case I'm like Tommy Lee Jones in um, The Fugitive. I don't care. Oh, baby. Two water, just chilling. I'm a picky eater. At first I was like, what the hell? And now I agree. Wait, but or are, are you just saying that because it's it's like the the squeaks impression of me, okay? 
I think you're just saying it because it's the squeaks impression. I, I resent it. This isn't even that bad in many ways. The biggest way of all that it's not that bad is because I can't see my health. Eh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, there are, um... There's stupid foods that are not burgers. Like, all the fake TikTok ones that are just designed to make you angry, or alternatively be, like, insane fetish videos, apparently? I didn't realize that. Um, but the one where the lady, um, puts, like, the uncooked spaghetti through the hot dogs. And I love the dudes, like, reacting to it, but he's just crying in his car. Put the uncooked manicotti in the... In the dish, slice the cheddar cheese with a pair of kitchen shears. Like it's pop that right in the oven, pop you right in the mouth. It's a classic. I did, I saw, I, I've never seen cotton candy in the toilet, but I have seen uh, cotton candy made in the washing machine. It said, An easy way to make cotton candy, and then the lady poured like a bunch of sugar into her washing machine and then poured a, like a soda into where you put the liquid detergent and then put f aluminum foil sorry the dryer the dryer not the washer no but she put no it was the it was the washer because she put the liquid soap in the liquid soap holder and then she uh she put aluminum foil on the lint trap and then it was like you know fast forward 20 minutes and then she pulls the lint trap out and there's a bunch of like blue cotton candy in the lint trap. And I'm like, do we deserve destruction? I'm saving. Why is there a lint trap in the washer? Wait a minute, that's a great point. What, okay, so what did you, maybe there's some, on some dryers, maybe there's a compartment you can pour like a, a fabric softener into? That makes, okay. Yeah, she probably put it on the, she probably put it in the fabric softener hole. That makes more sense. My mistake. Anyway, again, this is all beside the point, just for the record. The point is don't do that. It's not the device that was the wrongness, okay? Well, I mean, it is. But it's not, like, that specific about what type of laundry machinical it is or whatever. That's right, she put it in the square hole. Thoughts on challenge food challenges, like the 72-ounce steak? I honestly, I'm, I don't have a theory about this. But I, I do want to know, is there some, not sinister, I'm not saying there's something sinister. Is there something going on with the proliferation of people that can eat an insane amount of food? And I don't mean like a big meal. I mean like Kinoshita Yuka, um, you know, eating like literally 400 chicken nuggets in a single sitting and the whole time being like, wow, it's so tasty. You can really taste the earthiness of the chicken nuggets. Like... I know that she apparently has some sort of, like, um, uh, an anatomical anomaly. Three, I should have saved that for a tree, but, um, like, she's got a, a, a larger than average stomach cavity or something like that. But, like, there's actually, like, at least 25... Korean and Japanese women on YouTube that are like, check it out, this is me eating 750 pieces of sushi. And I know that because when my wife finished all the Kinoshita Yuka videos, she went straight to some that were from Korea instead. <laughs> 474. I mean, when you got this much water, you got to invest it. That's an easy invest. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't understand it fully. I'm not hating. I'm not being a hater. Sometimes I'll, I'll let you know when I'm being a hater. I'm hating on the the one thousand dollar tomahawk steak from Poppy Steak. Okay. Squeaks. 
score me? Nah, man. I think... I don't... Actually, I don't mind investing some triangles into score. I almost feel like we should get... What am I saying? I almost feel like we should get auto heal. What's wrong with you? You know what? Okay, one water for more. That that makes sense. And then two triangles for more. Okay, I'm willing. I'm willing to hit you there. What's interesting about watching somebody eat? Listen, here's the thing. I don't know, but this is a real like glass houses sort of moment. It's not my cup of tea, but at the same time, a lot of people will say the same thing about what you're watching right now. So I think I, you know. It's not a battle I'm interested in fighting. I guess the the the, the super wholesome non-dismissive answer is people are like interested in people like to watch things that interest them. And maybe that sounds forehead. But like if you're into working out, then you're like, you know what I'd like to do right now? I'd like to watch a video of somebody like at the gym. You're not getting any benefit out of the workout, but you're like, whoa, look at how deep he goes on his bent over rows or something like that. It's just, you know, whatever you're interested in, you find interesting. It's like you can imagine people like when the Food Network first started being like, why the hell would you watch someone else cook? You don't even get to eat the food afterwards. Nowadays, it's like they, I'm, they don't even cook. They don't even cook on the Food Network. They cooked so much, they're they're done with it now. They're bored with it. Now they're like, hey, find seven items in the grocery store that start with the letter Z. And then make a, a, a Korean-inspired quesadilla. Probably not worth it. Here's my impression of, of uh, everybody on the Food Network. <clears throat> I decided I had to have the gochujang. Gochujang is a spicy Korean pepper sauce. It's kind of like sriracha mixed with honey. Anyway, sorry, sorry. That's my impression. You see my tweet this weekend? My impression of a... It, this is my impression of a dude on a podcast? That's a great question. I was working on that one for a while, dude. For a while. I think we save up for toxic fumes. I, I would also love faster stab, don't get me wrong, but, but Toxic Fumes early goes so hard. Not necessary yet. Not ne necessary, okay. I'm glad we, we, we didn't go full on with the multiplier on the triangles yet. That was sensible. I can't believe I let you hit me once in peace. You're not even doing the accent? No, I realize, honestly, I think there's like, it's it's almost like an SCP. The accent is too uh, pow powerful. <clears throat> I, I have to, I see that the repellent's active. I, I honestly thought it wouldn't be active in time. Um, the accent is too powerful. It was like stuck in my head all day. Yesterday, even while I was driving. Um, so I realized that, like, what I have to do is actually just stop it. In order to preserve my own sanity. Just a crumb of the accent. It's how it goes, man. Yesterday everyone hated it. Please stop. Please stop. Today everyone's like, you know what? Anybody else kind of miss it? And everybody else is like, yes. Yes, I do. I thought you'd never ask. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop off some water. I'm gonna hit the repellent. I'm gonna drop off a lot of water. I'm gonna hit the repellent. I'm gonna head back down. And I'm going to get a single... ...square. Like I'm one away from winning the television game show Hollywood Square. So I'm gonna get a single square. I'm going to get several squares. And I'm going to use these to get toxic fumes. And then we're going to pop. Two more. 
I need two more on top of that. What's wrong with me? I need way more. Yeah, okay, well, you know what? For now, we go we go fast stab for sure. In order to get to in order to get the in order to get the javelin, which I think is very good. Okay, and then we say we only need seven on the next one. Very doable. <clears throat> what about health? Is that would that does this please you? I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. You know what that chord was? It might blow your mind. It's just a C major seven. Turns out that the Lord is kind of basic with it, kind of like an Ed Sheeran fan. Plus two. Is C major seventh a chord? All I know about music is, um, I mean, I couldn't define it, but I know it when I hear it. Yes, that is a chord. Okay. I did watch the first uh, episode, or half of the first episode of The Mole on Netflix last night, by the way. I wouldn't recommend yet um, uh, going and watching the show, but it's a, it, good, I, 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 it was reasonably entertained. But halfway through the episode, there's a pro gamer on it. <clears throat> I swear to you, she said, is anyone sus of Guy's name? And I was like, it, have we now entered the point where sus has, it, it genuinely is just in the vocabulary now. I guess it was kind of like in the vocabulary to become within the parlance of gamers to begin with, but like it is, it's, it's there there now. Nobody was like, what does sus mean? Everybody was, and then she did say, it is hard to think that there is an imposter among us right now. And I was like, you... Or she said, like, the mole is among us as we speak. And I was like, you think I don't... You think I don't see what you're doing there? You... Okay, guess what? We're not getting, uh... We're not getting the fumes as quickly as I thought we would be. Horrendous. We're in trouble, man. Starting to feel that um, maybe condenser is um, it's a goaded second gadget, not so goaded of a first gadget. We got some time. We still got some time. Yeah, Drillbird first. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Drillbird first. Resources are going to exist here. One, two, three, four, five. That's way too much. That's too much to tap. <clears throat> Tempo Storm said Drillbird is always a great pick. No, they didn't. No, they didn't a lie. The lie detector test has determined this is a lie. I don't believe you. That one's an invention of the writers. Please. A, dude, a teleporter or a stun laser. Don't make me public enemy number one here. Why do you never take multiplier? Listen, I think what you heard me say is I want a good score. I don't want a good score. I want all the bacon and eggs you have in this restaurant, okay? Getting a score over 500 only matters to the believers. No, I'm shredding the cobalt. We, like, it's not that blast mining is bad. We just need something better. I'm going for the highest score that I could possibly get. Lift his ass. I'm sorry. You. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry that you. I'm sorry that bug up your bum had to die. Let's have some champagne, Austin. Okay. It's better than two heels. 
Listen, guy who doesn't understand opportunity cost just dropped. It's better than two heals. Oh, wait, no, you're right. Guy who doesn't understand lift just dropped. You can have a lift on top of uh, the second gadget. My mistake. Reminds me of another Austin Powers quote. That decision smells like shit. Austin, it is shit. Well, it is rather nutty. Fuck you. Three. Oh my god, fuck you. Holding out for Drillbert. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero on the edge of a night. My favorite song from Marvel's Loki. Just kidding, my favorite song from Marvel's Loki is Hans Zimmer uh, at the Mountains of Odin's Madness. It goes da 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 na 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 na. What's your favorite song from Shrek? I mean, it's probably Hallelujah, and I, I'm not a. I, I would actually say that that's not one of my favorite songs of all time, even close. Um. But I mean, what is is that or All Star or Smash Mouth cover of the Monkees? Like, what are you supposed to? Oh, Shrek Two. Yeah, then it's probably holding out for a hero. Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah is goaded. I feel like. You had to choose, like, halfway in the 2000s whether you were a Hallelujah lover or a Hallelujah hater. I had to come out as a hater because it was just... It was just everywhere. Finally. Toxic fumes are gonna save us a lot here. I like Leonard Cohen. I'm, I'm more than like Leonard Cohen. But, um, Hallelujah is like, it's just one of those songs, I'm like, if I never heard it again, that would be completely fine. What about Jeff Buckley? I mean, I feel like, uh, the album Grace goes insanely hard, but Hallelujah would be one of, that would be a skippable for me. Also a skippable for me on, on Grace, don't even give me, it's a great song, it's just too much, okay, when he... Uh, it, it, the last goodbye, it's just a little too sappy. That's not what I like about Jeff Buckley. I like uh, when he goes... I prefer it a little less sappy. Get a little less sappy with it, please. Like a... Like a what's, what's track one? There, track two is Grace, right? Track one is a don't wanna, don't wanna go. I'm blind and tortured. The white horses. Yeah, that's the. I mean, I'm just look. Listen, I have a bias. I'm going to acknowledge. I'm a track one Andy. Just in general, my favorite song on an album, all other things being equal, is more likely than not to be a track one. I'm, I like I like the way an album starts most of the time. Like, what's my favorite Seba Do song? It's the Freed Pig. It's not even close. But that's also because I have a bass bias. And that, that song's got a pretty killer bass line. Peppa Pig? Great song! Peppa Pig. Squam, squammy, squam, squam, squammy, squammy, squam, squam. What about on Asia? Oh, I mean, I'm a track, um... That's tough, man. I'm a, I'm a track 2, 3, 4, Andy, on Asia. I mean, you're going, uh... Asia, Deacon Blues, straight into Peg. I mean, that's, uh... It's, it's hard for me to choose. Excuse me, just the one, the one trip? The one trip? Asia's the worst track on Asia. You don't like when Steely Dan says, Chinese music in the banyan trees. Here at the dude ranch above the sea. Dun 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 dun, 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 d
You don't like that? Not really? Oh, well, you know what? There's no accounting for taste. Honestly, we need damage. I like the long blade. The long blade! I honestly, and I'm, I'm being serious with this, okay? I think I'm a new prototype um, of, of man, maybe even of person. Guy who knows good art when he sees it, but still chooses to interface predominantly with trash. Who the hell is out here, like, oh yeah, uh, Steely Dan's Asia. Great album. Also, you guys see the cameo that the dude from uh, Better Call Saul did recently about One Piece? That's Most Millennials? I don't think he's heard of Most Millennials, Pippin. You guys ever see Lord of the Rings? Hey, I need to do some more damage. I need some more damage. Hey, can you just real quick... Hey, uh, just one more thing. Could you check on my Caesar salad? It's been... Oh, we've been waiting almost a half hour. Are you growing the lettuce back there? That's it. Just the one time. Just the one time. The one time. We're not going crazy. You can't afford to go crazy in the first half of the stream. You got a lot of stream left over. Anyway, mostly I'm a track one Andy though. I think I've made that clear. And that's the bottom line. Don't slip all the way down and tell me it's fucking raining. We need drill speed, man. Favorite B-52 song? Maybe like, um... I mean, I have a really soft spot for... It's it's not emblematic of what makes the B-52s good. But Rome is a, just a really good, like, radio rock song. So I really like Rome. But in terms of, like, the stuff that's more b 52 I, um... I guess I would say, like, um, my own private Idaho. That would probably be my take. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Thank you for asking, but no, I'm off the McDonald's coffee today. That's why the atmosphere is like a little bit more subdued today. I know a lot of people were like, he's gonna become a two coffee sort of guy now. No, I'm not, I, I, you know, I allowed myself the dalliance of a, of a second coffee yesterday because it was like a hard morning. And then today I said, don't let it become a habit. I need to still take less damage. This is not the right time to invest in economy, my two cents. Let's, um, you know what? It is a great time, I think, to overcharge our repellent and then also work on like overcharge battle duration and then freaking run overcharge it because we're getting enough water I think that was a good move the freaking thing got stalled man the rock got stalled halfway to the top how's McDonald's Monopoly going well, like, the problem that I have with McDonald's Monopoly is that I've, once you realize that the only thing that matters is whether or not you have a rare piece, I just want to throw the rest in the garbage. Like, why, why do I care about having, like, almost enough to get something when in reality, like, if all I have to do is check and see if I get a rare piece. If I get a rare piece and I threw all the common pieces in the garbage, I would just be like, okay, let's go drop a hundred bucks at McDonald's to get like a, a, a trip to Universal Studios or something like that. So I'm, I'm like, why am I even keeping a board until I get, uh, until I get something that's, that's worth holding on to, you know? Why not just keep them? Because they're garbage. There's like 75, so probably like 750,000 of them in, in circulation.
There's no, there's no words on it, is what I'm trying to say. Wait, what am I doing back here? I just came back to say goodbye. I just came back to overcharge you. I just wanted to kiss you down there. I normally watch your videos on times two speed, so you sound very slow right now. Uh, can I, can somebody queue up Walter Shocked? <clears throat> Gen Z's reaction when they find out you can't times two speed talking to your spouse. <gasps> Hank! Hank! I'm getting a lot of plus twos on that one. Holy. Okay, we need drill speed. Drill speed's next. Drill speed. Drill speed. Drill speed. Too short, that's fine. I'll live with that. We'll hold for now. Don't. I love hearing the enemies pop without even having them appear on the screen, man. Yeah, now looking good, King. Those Peloton rides really working out. Thanks, appreciate it. As of a lot of streamers have uh, uh, what I think is actually a very good take. They say, please don't comment on my personal appearance. I have a, uh, a, a slightly different take. Please don't comment on my personal appearance unless it's complimentary, in which case, go ahead. I don't like the left side scares me right now. The left side. Most humble streamer. Okay, drill speed. You regret not going to TwitchCon this year? Well, the answer is no, but everybody is going to say that it's because of, like, you know, the, like, ball pit or whatever. But the truth of the matter is just that, like, traveling to conventions, it's a, it's a young person's game. Especially, like, spending your own money to be away from home uh, and, like, inconvenienced, <laughs> I guess. I don't know how to phrase it nicely, but, like... Like, listen, okay, one, this is, I gotta get back up there, man. This is not an anti-TwitchCon thing. I've been to TwitchCon twice, and I had, uh, I had fun both times. But one time, I was paid to go, or at least my expenses were covered, and I did a meet and greet, and was like, you know what? That was a good, that was a sensible deal that we had going on there. And then the other time, I, um, okay, this was not smart. The other time, I paid, um my expenses to go and uh when i was at the convention i was just walking around kind of like being recognized and i was like why did i pay two thousand dollars to go here doesn't make any sense i should have just i could have been taking just a walk in my city right now i could have just been enjoying like a nice brunch not worrying about airports and hotels and stuff like that it doesn't make any sense Two grand? Well, yeah, you know, you got the passes, you got the hotel for three or four days, you got the two flights, meals when you're out. Hold on, I'm battling. Get smoked. Stop. Stop shooting. Stop shooting, you piece. Man, let's just call it like we see it. That could have been a lot worse. Why not do sponsorships to cover the expenses? I don't even know how to answer that question. You want the real answer? Because you can spend money on anything? <laughs> Why not spend it on something you actually want to do? Oh, I got some uh, salary. Might as well waste it. Like, what are you even talking about? I don't even understand. The, the question is from a place of, like, a, a false premise.
Why do you hate your fans? No, see, you got it backwards. You're letting them divide us when you should be letting them unite us. I just think, like, for me, the best deal is if somebody else pays for me to go to TwitchCon. Um, maybe the company that uh, is using my appearance at TwitchCon to get other people to go to the convention could foot the bill for me to come to TwitchCon. Although I think, I'm not even blaming Twitch. I think this year, uh, probably what happened is I got an email that was like, hey, you thinking about going to TwitchCon this year? And uh, in my head, I said, mm, probably not. I have a child. And then in reality, what happened is I just never replied. So um, this is not actually like a knock on the, on the company itself. Also, the other thing is, like, I kind of don't want to go to TwitchCon. Um, and again, this is, like, is, is not a, meant to be judgmental. But I don't... It seems like a big reason that a lot of content creators go to TwitchCon is to IRL stream at TwitchCon. And I don't want to just be surrounded by, like, IRL streamers farming content all day. I'd rather just be at home, honestly. Ah, uh, this is nasty. I'm not saying that they should change TwitchCon to ban IRL streaming at all. I understand the website. It's more like, you know, I just recognize that it's not for me. Okay, one of these. One of these. But no, I and the other thing is, it's not TwitchCon. Like, I don't, I don't regret having not gone to PAX for a few years. Will I ever go back to PAX again? Yeah, probably, but it, it's, it might be for a bit. It's more like, you know, just give me, just give me two fucking diamonds, man. I'm losing it. Help me. You workshop in a PAX bid? No, not at all. It's just like, convention is like a young person's game. Or, like, if you're into it. But I've always, like, the convention has always been the worst part of conventions for me. The best part has been that, like, other people that you know but don't live in your rough geographic area will go to the convention. And then you go, like, whoa, I haven't seen you in a while. And then you go, like, you know, get drunk outside of the convention instead. Do you read every sponsorship offer? We spent we sent you one about a roguelite. Salt Key and Ackfish, you sent me one? You're a known... Don't take this the wrong... Well, no, do take this the wrong way. You're a known entity in my mind. You work in the industry? I've, I think I personally have timed you out at least one time. Or did you get like a bunch of chatters together to do it? Please audit them. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just confused. Oh, I was copy and pasting something a dev said in chat. Okay, see, all right. I was, now everything's, you know, business as usual. Now I understand. By the way, we are in a horrible place here. No copy paster. I'm not going to audit the dev. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, the honest... It, it's like, now we're talking about inside baseball. It's, it's my fault for getting to this point to begin with. But, like... David reads every sponsorship deal that comes in. But I genuinely... I just say no to, like, actually 75 to 90% of them, depending. And the big thing is not really so much, like... Um, well, I mean, the big thing is the game, but the other big thing is that I only work like 25 hours a week on Twitch. So sometimes people are like, you know, can we get two two-hour streams? And I'm like, no. That's like, it's like 20% of my work week, man. That's like a lot. Motherfucker. People are like, go to the left. The left is, the left is fully fucking crazy substrate. It's the craziest substrate of all time. I'm hoping there's like a mother load in the middle here. Look at this. Look at this. It's all look at this. It's the hardest substrate ever known to man. One 
one of those. Upgrade your drill then. I need the squares to upgrade the drill, okay? This is like you need 10 years of job experience to get an entry level job. Okay, here I am on the left. Oh, we found some triangles. You're so lucky. How big of a bag do they need to pay you to stream Raid Shadow Legends? The limit does not exist, okay? But I also recognize that I'm lucky to be in a position where I can say something like that. It's less based on ethics and more based on circumstance. Go back up. I've lost all confidence in this one. <laughs> I haven't gotten the square in like three rounds. You didn't die on the way in? Well, we have to try to stay alive. Saved. It's funny our score is actually good considering how shit the run is right now. Maybe, maybe. Upgrade the stab? No, you don't. You, I mean, I'm, you probably do know. If we don't upgrade our drill speed, we're cooked, man. Substrate, man. Why am I going deeper? Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I just want one square. One, two, three, four, five. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. I need two! I need two! I'm sorry, I know I said one. Oh my god, you're... Why are you being so thrifty with it? There we go. Less thrifty, boy. More cheap chick in the city, okay? Jeez Louise. I'd really like to get up there in time to overcharge my gadget as well. Me undies. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm acknowledging that's not going to happen yet. I'm not getting drill speed just yet because we don't need it like until we start drilling again. I'm just looking at where we stand, okay? I could spend three and three. Unfortunately, four and two is not three and three. I could get a, a, a laser reticle. I choose not to. I choose to... I, I honestly, I, I thought it would kill you. It did kill you for some reason. What a deflection. This is the deflection of the century. This wave was not as bad as it could have been. Auto overcharge? Yeah, but we need the drill speed first. Like... Like, th that's not even up for discussion. Take me back to the mother load. Holy cow, one tap. It was here, right? By lo it's okay, just further down. That's fine. We're still uncovering spaces on the way. Can we go all in on belief still? Well, if we cross 500, then you do get, uh, then we're going to go for 1,000. What's your backup plan if streaming falls off? Become one of those guys who like goes on podcasts and says he doesn't, uh, the job of a comedian is to tell the truth. Um, and if people don't like it, they can leave. What happened to the country? We used to be a proper country. Now we've gone soft. I'm launching a new 
brand of um, of hot dogs or something like that, like Patriot dogs, something like that. Excuse me, gravity? My gravity is broken? I know I use the repellent. You know, here's the thing, I do it again. I think you'd make a great radio host. I think the radio industry is, is on the come up. I think it's definitely an industry I'd love to get involved in right now. It seems like the economic prospects of radio have never been better. I want even better overcharge battle duration. I want auto overcharge after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should narrate audiobooks? It's honest, it just, we're not getting anything here. Why am I even going down? It just seems like a lot of work. Like, it's kind of amazing. When you listen to an audiobook, you're like, oh, it's just a guy reading. But then when you think about recording it, like think about all the times you stutter or you get the cadence wrong, you mispronounce a word or something like that. I've heard that um, you can roughly budget 2x the duration of what you're reading as the amount of time required to get like good takes on it, which is crazy. Because I've got an audiobook of Maggie Gyllenhaal reading Anna Karenina. That shit is like 155,000 hours long. Where'd she find the time, man? She was in the Batman movies. That's a long-ass book. How much did Maggie Gyllenhaal get paid to do the audiobook for Anna Karenina? She played Rachel in The Dark Knight. Like, she's set for life, dude. Although I will say, I always have aspired to read more books, but have never, like, done it, because it's a hard habit to stick with. Like, when you're doing it, you're like, this is easy. Then you don't do it for, like, a week. You're like, oh, I got a little busy. Then you just find yourself having not read a book in, like, a year and a half. So, reading audiobooks out loud would be a great way to actually just read more books. Here's my impression of somebody whose job is reading audiobooks for a living. And it's great because I love to read, so it's like I'm getting paid to do my hobby. If this isn't a teleporter, I'm gonna fucking scream, man. I'm gonna lose my mind. I think we have to take a converter. It was like the most boring setup of all time, but we're generating so much water, and then the getting the square multiplier is like the only... It, I think it could have a huge impact here. I actually would love to get the early square multiplier. 4-2 allows us to multiply iron. Absolutely. Then we can shove one iron in there, and in two waves, it'll be... And then with with better repellent, man, it's gonna just keep going? That was the last straw? Okay, then fucking leave, dude. I Drillbird is, is so bad. Like, if, if that's the last straw, then fucking prove it. Get out of here. We really, especially be because we went so far, or so long without squares. We need the square multiplication to make up for it. Would you play a spin-off about Drillbird? I have nothing against the, the, the person, okay? The person that is Drillbird. What I have a problem with is, is the effect of Drillbird. His effect is not good. They need, they need to up his affect. I should wait for it. I should not wait for it. Hate the sin, love the sinner. So true. So very true. 
You treat him like shit? No, I just don't take him. There's a difference. Did you start a convert? No, I'm... You know what? I, I don't have any squares yet. If I had a square, I'd start the convert. But I don't want to really do, like, a, any other conversions yet. I want to... I want to get at least some squares up to the surface. You tried him like once? It's actually, you're just like, these are just lies. You're, you're on the internet spreading misinformation. I've taken Drillbird, I think, three times. And there, two of the times I said, he's not even that bad. But he's, I mean, I would take Drillbird over, like, Lyft. I know it's not a mutually exclusive trade. Okay, I'm going to answer this question, but you're not going to like the answer. What's the proper age to write your memoirs? The proper age to write your memoirs, in my personal opinion, is never. I, I like biographies, but I, I don't like autobiographies. I find it like it's kind of an exercise in narcissism. But like an, an, a biography that a historian writes about your life after you're dead is cool. But like an autobiography written by a Silicon Valley uh, CEO of a company that allows you to like order a grilled cheese to your door if, for $75 a, a sandwich. I don't I just don't care. I'm sure there's some that are that are good, but I, I, I just want you know, and you know what, like a collection of short stories about your life. Sure. But an autobiography about, like, here's the thing that made me successful in business? I don't care. Doesn't interest me. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Um, okay, so we have to start a conversion first. Convert 1 to 5 over 2.5 cycles. 7 and 3, 7 and 3, 7 and 3. 7 and 3. It's 8 and 2. It's 7 and 3. We'd really like auto overcharge still. You know what? 5 and 2 for an extra 10% of a wave. Give it a chance. Give it a chance to function. You hate Lord of the Rings? Wrong. I hate the Rings of Power. Lord of the Rings, pretty good. But I don't know, I read it in like the 8th grade. It's been a while. Also, here's, here's a hot take for you. That is like the least hot take of all time. Why is the substrate so freaking thick, man? If you write a book, you should be the person who reads the audiobook. I don't care if your voice is like all squeaky and uh, unconfident and messed up. The author should always read the audiobook, man. Minus two. The author should always read the audio. I'm saying it louder until more people agree with me. What if they're dead? Then I don't want to read your book, okay? Because I only read books from people that are built different. Doesn't really make any sense, honestly. But by the way, Josh is here. Hi, Josh. That's like the writer acting in a movie. Well, I don't know, it's all... Penguin Audiobooks presents Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. As read by Rob Lowe. Like, that's not what I want. Get fucking... At least get somebody Roman to read it. Let's get somebody from Italy to read it or something like that. Always meditations. Well, it's like 70 pages long. It's a really easy book to get. It's honestly a breezy read. They should read it in, like, middle school, dude. Um, some squares. Weren't you listening to uh, Anna Karenina by Maggie Gyllenhaal? Yeah, and I would have listened to the whole thing if it was, by, if it was read by Leo Tolstoy. Instead, I was like, what the hell is even going on? I'm like, I'm 114 pages in, and there's like, it's just a, a lady's taking a train ride with like an unwed 
Duke or something like that. Like, it just never ends. I would like to convert iron to cobalt. 12 iron to 1 cobalt? That's too much. Do you remember the first line of Anna Karenina? Nope. Something about, like, Bruce, I know that you want to save Harvey, but please come and save me instead. Harvey's already in trouble. He's got acid all over his face because, like, that barrel tipped over. Look forward to seeing you soon, Bruce. Something like that. Call me Anna. That's, yes, I remember. Call me Anna. We can make it. Oh, we can't make it, dude. I'm not popping it yet because you know what? I, I knew it. I knew there would be more enemies coming. And in greater numbers. Have you read Crime and Punishment? Listen, I read one novella contained within the Brothers Karamazov, or is it that the Brothers Karamazov is a novella contained within Crime and Punishment or War and Peace? I can't remember. And I've read um, Notes from Underground. And uh, especially Notes from Underground, I found to be a colossal exercise in wasting time. Um, I thought it was, honestly, Dostoevsky, if you're listening, like just mute for a second. I thought it was complete dog shit. I'm not putting on airs. Maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. But I'm like the angriest guy I know. And even when I was reading Notes from Underground, I was like, fucking chill, dude. Every single problem in this novel is like of your own creation. He goes out to, for dinner with a bunch of his friends, has too much vodka and starts going like, I fucking, you fucking suck, you fat piece of shit. You fucking asshole, you dickhead, you piece of garbage. And everyone's like, who invited this dickhead? And he's like, society yet again rebukes me when my true nature is shown. Guess I'll just dig a hole and go fucking live in it like a rat. And everyone's like, bro, nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. Re you're the one who came here. You invited yourself and then you started making it all about you. Oh, the world has turned its back on me once more. Just fucking chill out, dude. He's, he's so crazy. That's the point? Well, then I don't like the point. It's kind of like, I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that Notes from Underground was... Um, does anybody else think that Uncut Gems was the Safdie brothers trying to make um, Notes from Underground for millennials? Hey, Iron Tusk 91 thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. The one trip? The jams are on cut, Fyodor. <laughs> so true, so true. I bet our conversion is going to be done by the time we get up here, too. No, listen, you're, if you like Notes from Underground, you're too smart to respond to that criticism with something like, oh, you should only read books where everyone's happy. Like, that's obviously not what I mean. Or, maybe I was right the whole time, and people who uh, like the novel are just trying to pretend to be smart. I don't know. Would love your thoughts on this. Don't say plus two, by the way. 
long blade. No. I think I want fast stab. I'm scared, because I should have saved 14 to heal if we need it. But I really do want to get to javelin quick. And then, we got three... Let me think here. Pre reducers... Oh, right, we want auto overcharge too. Yeah, auto overcharge next two waters we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you have a hard time empathizing with POVs that are different from yours. Sanest book reader of all time. You didn't like something? Maybe there's something fundamentally wrong with your empathy muscle. I, me, me an empath, the lead character in Nostrum Underground is struggling right now. It's, it's so beneath you if you're like an, an erudite book reader. Because that's the thing that people do with like the Transformers movies. You didn't like Transformers movies? Oh, uh, well, like, I don't, I, what's your favorite movie? Oh, something by Wes Anderson? Uh, yo, oh, here's my impression of a Wes Anderson movie. Hmm, we all know that General Custer died in the Battle of Little Bighorn. Uh, but what this book presupposes is, what if he didn't? <laughs> Owen Wilson directly center of the frame, flanking him, completely symmetrical, two filing cabinets that stretch from floor to ceiling. And it's like it's filmed in the Palace of Versailles. The ceilings are 35 feet tall, and the walls are a, a light pink. And they're, they're, they're playing uh, Ruby Tuesday by the Rolling Stones on a harpsichord in the background. You don't like Transformers movies? Okay, well then, it's, they, they, it's not the way we should respond to criticism, okay? It's like Jack Black in um, Anchorman. You, you killed something that I love, so now I'm going to kill something that you love. Oh yeah, this is happening. What are you talking about? Dostoevsky? I'm talking about Dostoevsky? What am I doing down here? This is too deep. And I'm trying to keep all the blood in my head instead of going under again. Cool, I love Dostoevsky. You should leave then, because you're not gonna like what I'm hearing. You're gonna say some insane offensive shit. Like, um, yeah, like, I'd, like I wanna hear Dostoevsky takes from somebody who can't appreciate Charlie Kaufman's magnum opus, so I'm thinking of ending things. Listen, I appreciate that um, I love Jesse Plemons in everything that he does. I appreciate um, that David Thuluse and Tony Collette are like little freaks in that freaky movie. I also appreciate that the fucking thing was three and a half hours too long and it only had a 145 minute long runtime. So you do the fucking math. I think, honestly, if you're asking me, would Dostoevsky love Transformers? I'm gonna have to say safe bet on that one. Safe bet. Oftentimes, great artists love horrible media, which I find very endearing. Classic example, of course. You, you already know where I'm going with this one. Brian Wilson saying that his favorite film of all time is Norbit. Also, Brian Wilson uh, calling Norbit not a movie, but a picture is so funny. Well, I guess I'll be going up then. It's overcharged. It's not a- what do you mean it's not overcharged? I overcharge it, did I not overcharge it? Little known fact, uh, Brian Wilson actually wrote the song, Wouldn't It Be Nice, about Norbit. And what would be nice, in his opinion, is if he could see Norbit more often. And when he wrote God Only Knows, that was uh, when he says God Only Knows Where I'd Be Without You, he's saying God Only Knows Where His Enjoyment of the Cinema Industry Would Be Without the Movie Norbit. It's 
Sleuth John B is about the clumps. Come on, the Sloop John B. With her gillies. Something, something, and take all of my corn. Let me go. It's about the John B. Sorry. Okay, we're, we're, the right substrate is makeable. Is makeable. Didn't even overcharge. So true. So true. This is the worst trip I've ever been on. Nah, nah, nah. That's, you know, that's, I, Josh, I don't want to insult you, so I'm just going to tell the truth. That's Josh's favorite song off of the album Pet Sounds. Not joking. I love that song so much. See? I'm telling you, that's, that's how you know, and I'm envious of it. That's how you know Josh is actually just like literally a normal guy. His favorite song about pet uh, from Pet Sounds, he's not concerned in the slightest. And I'm being, this is, I'm admiring this, not hating on this. He's completely unconcerned with the importance of the album on a historical or cultural standpoint. His entire evaluation of Pet Sounds is just which song is the most fun to listen to. And I've, I, at times I've had that in my life, childhood for example. Um, but... As an adult, I've endeavored to get back to it, and I just can't. I wish I could. Instead, I'm like, oh, well, the song I like the most off of OK Computer is Subterranean Homesick Alien, but if I don't say uh, that it's uh, Paranoid Android, everybody's going to think I'm full of shit. OK Computer sucks. All right, pump the brakes, Josh. The album's like an international treasure. Not hater parlance. Josh's favorite Radiohead song is Creep. Again, I wish I could go back to it sometimes. We live, bitch. I thought it was done. I thought it was done. I thought it was done. That's fine. We need some damn everything. I Honestly, you know what I learned about myself? We gotta invest in drill speed a little bit faster. The We're still experiencing the knock-on effects of not prioritizing drill speed. Favorite Alice in Chains album? I'm unfamiliar with, with Alice in Chains' album oeuvre. I'm mostly familiar with the greatest hits. Favorite Alice in Chains song? I mean, it's, it's gotta be The Rooster. They, I, don't get me wrong. Like, um... What's the one where he goes, Feed my eyes, then I on Man in the Box? Man in the Box is really good too, but Rooster? I don't know, I just got a soft spot for it. Great, great song to do a four minute, uh, 60 to 70 cadence heavy jog out of the saddle to. And go, Heal my ass. Deny the doubters. That was, uh, I'm going back. I'm try, oh, I already used it. Go, 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 go. Drill speed next. Me at the walk in clinic in 2022 summer. Heal my ass. Give me anti. I'm wasting my time. My antibiotics save proflux. It's a it's an antibiotic. In case you don't know what that is, can you seal it shut? The thing with Man in the Box is, anytime I'm listening to it, I always think every line is the one where he says "rub my nose in shit," and it just makes me look and feel like a fool. 
I'm the man in the box. Gun out, gun, 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 gun. Rub my nose in shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> in shit. Rub my nose in shit is what he says. Can auto overcharge now? Listen, you little, you little psycho. We need um, five water, okay? We don't have five water yet. This used to be a child-friendly stream. No, it's not like literal kids cannot watch this. Just adults in a permanent state of arrested development. You have exactly five? What the hell? Oh, the one piece! <laughs> Kids not being able to hear swearing is so funny though. We don't swear in front of our daughter. I will say though, my dad swore a little bit in front of our in front of my daughter. I might just be dead. Never mind. My dad swore a little bit in front of my daughter. And my mom got so mad at him. And I was like, it's really not a big deal. I was just laughing. Because I would be like driving back from daycare. She's in the car seat, like behind us. She's listening to Under the Sea. She doesn't fully understand what's going on. My dad would be like, look at this sh shithead driving. My mom's like, stop it. <laughs> I was laughing it up, man. Oh, man. Road safety is not funny. Hey, did I tell you I unpsychopilled myself um, when it comes to driving? Here's one uh, tip that may surprise you. Uh, have some patience. And remember that it really, like, any delay that you have in driving, it's probably going to be what? You're going to get home, like, less than 10 minutes later at the worst possible case scenario just just anytime like somebody cuts me off now instead of being like oh learn how to operate at a four-way stop it's very simple instead i'm like why am i so mad I'm, I'm gonna get home at the normal time the only question is like whether or not i'm gonna get home at the no at the normal time and be happy and relaxed or i'm gonna get home at the normal time and be like annoyed and ticked off you gotta, you gotta practice your, your, uh, your, your dedication. You gotta, you, what am I, what am I looking for here? Look, you gotta keep yourself honest. Is really what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say you gotta practice your dedication, which is a sentence that's fundamentally like meaningless. Um, we're about to use more repellents. What do you think about? Eh, it's wave delay point three. So wave delay point two. Could we get we can't get both of them but that one's a point four you're right you know what i think you're right save for drill speed it makes a lot of sense drill speed the earlier you get it the more dividends you should pay it makes perfect sense i'd prefer not to wither yet if i can avoid it i don't know if i can avoid it i'm happy we, we waited long enough for the at least one of these uh armored personnel carriers to be on the screen People who slow cruise in the passing lane should have their licenses revoked, though. Listen, okay? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Because I deal with this shit in Washington all the time. People are always like, in Washington, it's illegal to be in the left unless you're passing, okay? The, here's, the, here's the fucking problem, Washington. You have highway entrances and exits literally like every 200 meters. So, I'm driving in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic in the right lane. People are going by me doing 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. And then, 17 cars in a packed merge lane are also trying to merge at highway speed, okay? So then I move to the left so that one car coming on through the fucking on-ramp can make it into the right lane. But then, in order to not be breaking the law, 
I got to move back into the right lane, but no one will let me back into the right lane. It's driving me crazy. I move to the left to let someone in, then I need to move back to the right in order to not be breaking the law and have people... And I'm driving in Washington, so I'm being like judged more harshly because I have a foreign license plate too. So that, you know what usually happens is I end up driving like with the flow of traffic in the left lane. So, you know, it's a 70 mile an hour speed limit. I'm doing like 83 or something like that with white knuckles in the middle of a, a driving Washington monsoon getting people that going into the right lane to pass me shaking their fists then like 10 minutes down the road i see their car is exploded it flipped over 25 times i know i've said this before like every time i've been on the i-5 i've always felt like i'm 100 years old because i'm only driving five miles an hour over the speed limit i get passed by people where i'm like you shouldn't drive like that and then 20 minutes later we're in bumper to bumper uh, stalled traffic and then we see that that person was so selfish they fucking died they drove, they're so bad at driving, and they think they're the main character. They died on the interstate and ruined everybody's day. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Drill speed. Drill speed for 12. Okay. Now do you understand notes from underground? Okay, a little bit. A little bit. It's not like I'm happy they died. You're taking that like out of context. It's not fair. I, in fact, I'm pissed off that they died because their dying was a consequence of them driving like a dickhead in the first place. If they just drove like not a, a, a piece of garbage, then they would be alive and happy at their destination and so would I. You see how many, I'm getting a lot of plus twos from people that are like, I'm from Washington and this is so true. Listen, is this how we mend fences with Bellingham? You can still make fun of Canadian drivers, Lord knows I do too, as long as you also make fun of Washington drivers, okay? Here's my impression of a, of a Mount Vernon driver at a four-way stop when they're the only other person at the stop and they got there five seconds before you. But also, their windows are illegally tinted to the point where you can't even see their hand. Just go. You were there first. Just go. You could just go. Triangles? Holy. I did see the r slash hockey. Ooh. Post about the Edmonton Oilers concessions. Honestly, the Vancouver ex concession prices are also crazy. I think the one that got me the most was like two large popcorns and two fountain pops was like $37 Canadian or something. The one, any any sports concession, at least at a hockey game, with beer is you, you can't surprise me. If you were like two beers, two hot dogs, a hundred bucks, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds about right. But two non-alcoholic sodas and popcorn, the cheapest vegetable that grows in the ground. I mean, come on, that's just it's 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 because you got a captive audience, man. What? Oh, 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 oh. Why? We're kind of zooming with it, though. Okay. Okay. Dude, it's drill speed. Drill speed's next. Or did we just get it? Am I crazy? No. Drill speed first. And then increased wave delay and we're we're gonna this is actually the pivot and this is like the second best run i've ever had kind of sad to think about but i would say that's true as of right now like this run has actually made it to like the mid game that wasn't even that bad that's why we got three triangles in reserve now we wait for it and we go this is the Midgar Zolem. So, Josh, Ed, your references are off the chain. Everybody loves your references.
TY, TY. Did I not start the converter? Fool. A fool of a took. That's, that's uh, honestly, that's a huge drag on your portfolio. Feels nice to, to flex the drill speed a little bit, though. A little bit. Just a little bit. Should you apply Boglehead principles to Dome Keeper? Um, I wish you could, but here's the thing. I, th I think a lot of Bogleheads make the mistake of applying Boglehead principles to other um, avenues. And uh, as much as I would like it to be true, you know, you need to have like a scientific proof or at least a mathematical trends in order to actually back it up, you know? I'm guilty of it myself. I, I apply the Boglehead principles to cycling because I think it provides like a useful model for copium, when I have a day where my cycling's not that good, I say, you know what? Doesn't matter if S and P five hundred is at thirty five hundred, forty five hundred, or ten thousand. You just put in a little bit of work every day, and and you know over time you're going to improve. Now maybe it's true, but I also, you know, we need to see some data in order to back that up. But it is useful copium. It is useful copium. That's true. I didn't really consider that it doesn't matter if you bike an inch or a mile. Biking is biking. It actually, it matters a lot. I know, like, it, it, it would be nice if it didn't, but it does. Biking an inch or a mile is not really that much. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on anybody who's, like, you know, biking a mile. is better than biking an inch, but, but even a mile is not that much. I would say this is a situation where it does matter. Okay, I'm going back up. Never should have gone down. How many miles you pulling? Um, I don't know, like 11 miles in about half an hour. What is... Ah! Help me. That's not even that fast. It's just, uh, it's a little heavy. It's all about the wattage. Hey, what's Bruce Lee's favorite um, measure of work? You spent it on multiplier? Ah! Okay, hold on. I'm getting. I was thinking of this Bruce Lee joke. The answer is kilojoules. This is kilojoules. It's all right. We got we got McDonald's Sprite backing us up. I want, I want javelin. Uncut jobs. Thank you. Does matter if it's boiled or fried. What are we at? Four, 442? We're actually really close to, to believer payouts. I can't believe it. The three tab? That's a little much. What's the actual best? I got 4,300 once. That was pretty cool. Water, still useful. What is the 30 iron upgrade? It ends your run by doubling your score. Does matter if they're boiled or fried. I think we need javelin, then wave delay. That's my that's my current flow chart. But also, caveat, I don't know what I'm talking about. You wanna talk about a damn mother load though? Sickos in chat be like always.
Don't get me trapped in here. I trust. I trust that we can mine our way up. Any sickos in chat? I know there's sickos in chat. Because my friends who are sickos in chat without kids be like, the character is not horny. She's erotic. It's a difference. That was your bit? I know. And my friends without kids who are sickos were like, hey, that guy knows what he's talking about without realizing it was a character. Wave delay. Wait, no, 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 no. Javelin, wave delay? Javelin? Javelin? No. Okay, we're not going to get to Javelin this wave. So I'm going wave delay, man. You know why I'm going wave delay? Because we got, we got the resources and there's a mother load awaiting us. As a result, I know we're going to get Javelin next time. And I'm pogging. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Does streaming a game make it more or less fun? Um, much more fun, at least for me. It does depend on the game, I guess to a small extent. But like I genuinely have more enjoyment out of streaming, because not only do I get to play the game, but also I get the dopamine of people being like, hey, that thing you said is really fun. So you get like, you get a little bit of the good and a little bit of the, you get a, you get a little column A and a little column B with it. It's like you get to play games and also being complimented. But then there's like, there's some games that are not fun to stream at all, um, which is why I won't be playing Vault of the Void. Now, don't take that as I, I've never, I don't even own Vault of the Void yet. Apparently it's a great game, but uh, as someone who's played 2000 hours of deck builders on Twitch and on YouTube, um, nah, I'm not, I'm not going back. For uh, about five minutes, and this is an endlessly repeatable phenomenon. For about five minutes, people go, whoa, this game looks really cool. And then for the next two hours, they go, lol, Miss Lethal. Lol, imagine. N says he needs more attack. Takes the best defensive card in the game. Make it make sense. Lol. And then these motherfuckers have the audacity, six months later when a new one comes out, to be like, hey, are you going to play that new deck builder? The answer is no. No, I will not. Have you considered just not missing lethal? Well, the funny thing is, like, half the time it's not even miss lethal. Half the time it's the chatter that has, like, made the mistake. But if you point it out, then people are like, why don't you just ignore it? And you're like, I did. 900 times. They got me on the 901st one. I, I actually have like a 99.5% success rate on ignoring it. That's pretty damn good. One of them slipped through. Okay, that was a good one trip. Obviously, we're going straight back to the converter. going javelin that's a lot man no triangles sucks though what is this water conversion becomes more efficient but takes longer four iron per water two iron to one water 1.4 cycles conversion time i gotta think i gotta think about this one i gotta first off we got some time to go back down <laughs> <clears throat> you ever going to play Crusader Kings 3? I think at this point the train is sailed, but I think you also already knew that. You could really use, like, um, some triangles. Any triangles in here? Triangulars? This is not a good substrate, but I've got a feeling.
I'm going. For, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Go, go, go. So circuitous. Man, it's so nice to have auto overcharge. Perfect timing. I forgot Javelin! The One Piece! Let's go! Okay. People are really out here asking, are you going to play Valkyrie Chronicles 2? <laughs> Listen. The answer is no. I spent it. wave of my life. We have to wait for the repellent. It's worth it now. What about something like NHL 23? Well, like, honestly, that was the other example that was popping into my mind, is games that I love to play, but chat just does not like watching. Not, like, even that they hate watch it, but just that they're, like, bored. And then I'm like, well, that stuff I'd rather play off camera. But that problem solved itself, because I, have, like, I have a child now. So I, I don't even have the... For the most part, I don't even have the time to play the shit that Chad doesn't like to watch, but I like to play. So instead, I just, like, um, instead of doing that, I just, like, eat some toast or something and then go to bed. So it's really, it's like a self-limiting problem. You don't see a triangle, you gotta leave? What, are you a cop or something? I don't understand. You're telling me we can't sustain our um, our run with squares alone? We might be able to, actually. Like that was a joke at first, but we might be able to if we get uh, if we get our converter popping. We need a lot of squares in order to make the converter work effectively, but we're kind of getting there. Okay, we're gonna need to drop one, just one. Oh, I didn't know you had a kid. You don't talk about her that much. Father of the year in chat. Holy cow. Man, man, you sure talk about your kid a lot. Jeez. Get on. <laughs> she talked more about the new episode of House of the Dragon. Please. Please. Go. 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 I want people saying go, go, go like I just ordered the $1,000 steak at Poppy Steak. A lot of things I like here, okay? I am thinking um, that it's it's free real estate to just go damage like crazy. And then if we continue to have an incredible surplus of iron, before converting it, why don't we just freaking crank on the iron Y-intercept? Get a bunch of score. I really do, and I mean, I'm not the be-all, end-all. Oh my god, that was so lucky. I'm not the be-all, end-all of, like, what's good in this game and what's not good. I really feel like this is close to the best I could possibly do without having a teleporter. I would still love wave, re like, reduction, too. Like, an extra delay in the wave. Yeah, okay. That's, that takes us from 0.4 to 0.5. This gives us an additional 0.2. Oh, no, which is really an additional 0.1. Okay. Well, I, I take the cheapest then. Because we're auto overcharged. You can get both? Wait a minute. You're absolutely right. It takes me to... to perfect economy doesn't exist. And now, what I love about this is the idea that repellent... 
plus. I'm not withering yet. You know there's going to be harder enemies. Is the idea that with repellents... Our converter should have like a ton of time to get to work. Like I don't know what our current wave is, like our, our wave delay, but it's a lot. Can we check it actually? But it's, it's point two. It's point three. So it's it's half a cycle, and then when it's overcharged, it's another point two. So it's almost a full cycle of mining. By the way, the Believers got paid out! Let's go! It finally happened! Okay. And then... Will we break 1,000 score? I'm not gonna run this for five minutes, for what I hope are semi-obvious <laughs> reasons. We'll run it for two minutes instead. It's worth. It's so worth. Still work. Okay. Are you gonna leave immediately? No. Two tap in this is a new one. I'm happy to be back. Yes. Yes, I'm happy to be back. Oh, a seed. Okay. I think. My new theory on the seed is that the actual smartest thing we could do is just put this shit down right at the surface and then just bank our free iron every few waves. Because we know we're always going to be coming back this way. Four of these. We wait. By cobalt conversion is actually very sensible. What you're suggesting is a very sensible idea. Cobalt conversion. I, I do think I might go damage first. Like electrified sword. Holy cow, it feels good to be mining at a reasonable speed again. But I do, like, cobalt conversion, very sensible. That's, that seems like how we could go long distance here. I don't even want iron at this point. I was just going to say, more triangles, man. I'm taking them up. If we get... Oh, man, it's a mother load next to the triangle load. Just take them up. Mobile, or uh, the, the cobalt conversion... We make... I, like so we make a triangle out of some iron every 1.4 waves but i wonder how long a wave actually is when you factor in the 0.7 wave delay that we get from our repellent you know interesting we already have a conversion running as we speak so i don't think we buy it yet but we could buy it later 1.7 well yeah but then you have to factor in the charge time for um like the for the repellent i don't know how long it takes to charge after we fire it more water too holy I'm, I'm going up. Why am I so far down? <laughs> I would have made a horrible mistake. I don't know. I thought my repellent was still active. I was like, look at how much repellent I've got left. Yet another reason the teleporter stays winning, by the way. Sorry, still good timing. Still good, still good. Next upgrade is damage still. One of these fools doesn't even concern me because you just do this. 
now. Pterodactyls start flying in. That's where I feel more comfortable using our wither. I'm gonna heal a little bit. I'll get two. I'll spend two on it. Still not that bad. Caveat. Not that good. I think he got me. I think he got me with that. Could be worse. Stun laser would be sick. Now, I'm not going Cobalt Converter yet. I know it's like our most important upgrade. The reason I'm not going yet is because our converter is not done yet. I'd rather... I think we could work on our market timing a little bit. We can't afford speed. We're one square short of speed. So we're just going to head back down to the mines real quick. When you did have time to play NHL, what did you play? Honestly, I played mostly threes um, and hated it because I played as defense. It's a thankless job. And I played a, a, a reasonable amount of um, like full free-to-play whatever like the ultimate team is called. I think it's just called ultimate team. And, uh, you know, I played, I played long enough to have some fun. And then reach a level where I was getting crapped on uh, by people who's like their first three centers were Wayne Gretzky. And then I said, you know what, that's probably enough. That's a good time for me to maybe wait till next year. Can you skate IRL? It's been a long time, but I could skate as a kid. I could also skate backwards. So I'm assuming it comes back to you in time. Or pretty quickly, I hope. I haven't been skating for a while. Because, like, the skates, they, they crush my damn feet. The skating's fun. Water. Gonna teach the baby to learn how to skate? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. We don't go skating too much. Like, ever. Like, I, I don't even know. The last time I was skating was probably in, like, the 10th grade or something. It's been a bit. My word. It's full of stars. We could take one more up. No, we can't. Dropping the triangle hurts, though. Has the baby started carting yet? Honestly, I, there's only a few things I would not let my child do, I think. One of them is play uh, tackle football. I probably would not let my child get involved in an F1. It just seems financially irresponsible for the state of the family. Um, trying to think of what else we got. Work at the McDonald's uh, near Tinseltown in Vancouver. Cancel me for a second here. Okay, hold up. Bring it up. Let me see. Twenty nine of them. Give me long blade. Give me conversion. And then honestly, give me second conversion to make it convert faster, like for half as much iron. And then we got we know we got triangles down there. Convert some more iron because we got more triangles coming. We know we got triangles back there. I got a damn laser beam. I 
I'm not withering yet. Now I wither. Ah! Okay, we may need those triangles. Trust the process. This man could have waited one turn and won with a score of 1,000. Yeah, just what I've always wanted. <clears throat> to get a score that's uh, a quarter of my highest possible score that I've ever had. Just what I've always rooted for. To be 25% as good as I used to be. You mean it's not worth it? It's 70% of a wave! Are you crazy? Of course it's worth. Get me down there. You lost your damn mind. Clean the tunnels while you wait. It provides no merit. It's, it's idle work that feels like you're doing something but doesn't actually move the needle. It's like playing an incremental game. Have you watched Welcome to Wrexham yet? I haven't. I heard good things though, Josh. I heard good things. I will probably never see it. I have no problem with Rob McElhaney. I don't like Ryan Reynolds. He seems like a great guy. I just find him so irritating. Like, and it's, it's, I'm acknowledging it's a me problem. He's, he hasn't done anything wrong. I have the same problem with Ryan Reynolds that I have with like Jason Bateman or something where I'm just like, oh, just shut up, you know? Oh, sure. Oh, nice charitable donation. A billion dollars for charity? Whoa. Whoa. Why don't you try doing something fucked up for once? <laughs> What am I doing here? I got one triangle. Yeah, that's not a lot. Um, that's not a lot of triangles. Stall him for a second. Something maybe like here? Triangles? I'm also like, I'm, I don't want to talk as if this runs in like post-mortem already. Because I don't think that's necessarily true. It depends on the difficulty of the next couple waves. But like... I think we've done very well for not having a probe and for not having a teleporter. Condenser converter has done pretty well, but definitely like no teleporter, no probe. I'm proud of myself. Water. Yeah, we could take, we could take. And water at this point is like the opposite of a precious resource. We're not in the desert, we're in the damn ocean. I just wanted to see maybe there could be a triangle there. So, we can use our probe. Or we can use our water, I should say, in order to get a score increase. Even though it was insanely expensive. Holy cow. You dying in one hit, that's very nice. Had to pop it. Had to stop the bleeding. What's this? Not blocking that rock sucks pretty hard. 
You know what, though? No way to stay. We're alive. We're alive. <clears throat> this time we're not waiting. That's for sure. I can convert triangles, but I got a conversion running as we speak. I really thought there'd be more in there. Chad, I'm still here. I would never, I would never ban a dev, okay? Whether they're a real dev or a fake dev, I would never. Triangles, please. Banned for expressing an opinion? <clears throat> yes. Do you want to join them? Says you. Tyrant arc? Here's the thing. George W. Bush had a lot of gaffes in office. But he was right when he said a dictatorship would be pretty sweet if I was the dictator. But only if he's not talking about himself. If he's talking about me as the dictator, then yeah. So true, so true. <laughs> he said that? Yeah. He like kind of wasn't... We'll lead us to kings! <laughs> We'll freaking lead us to kings. Our first decree. No more rich people and poor people. From now on, there will just be... Um, Alright, we gotta think about this one. We'll lead us to kings. We'll really lead us to kings. Convert me to cobalt, please. 6 to 1 over 4.0 cycles? That's horrendous. That's a lot. It's a long time. What would the national anthem be? This is um this is a uh it's a reference to City Hall by Tenacious D. Coming up next, a cut from their new album, Tenacious D, take us away. Triangles. Dude, the substrate is so cheap down here. Sure, water is something. Fuck it, I'm going over. Find me some damn triangles and give me some pictures of Spider-Man. This shit legit, not even rock. It's just soil. Okay, I gotta go. Zoom! Ah! Dump it all, jettison it all! <laughs> it doesn't- if- honestly, like, it would be nice to have that up here. But if it's not triangles, we don't really care that much anyway. We can always get it next time if there is a next time. The problem is, will there be a next time? You know what? For for the trying for the for the triangles we have available right now, which is zero, and the squares we have available, I would go larger shield pad, and I would follow that up with a faster reflect, just because at least there's something. At least we can get something out of it. Make triangles with the machine. <clears throat> That's what we're doing as we speak. The exact moment. That's what we're doing. It's it's presently in the process of making it happen. Hey, we don't have a lot of time to like fuck around here. Your ass kind of gotta like be dead. We simply need to find triangles. 
What is that sound? What was the sound? The dunk, 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 dunk? His triangles are bust, because we can't block all incoming damage. I actually think... With our... Well, why am I getting this shit, then? <laughs> with repellent, if we make one extra trip to the surface before the next wave and the repellent is ready to go... Soil. Soil. We might live long enough for our conversion to finish. Which would then allow us to have one triangle of healing power. Certainly not a lot. But it's better than nothing. Outer edges more likely to spawn triangles. Okay. Game FAQ's Microsoft MVP Dome Keeper has arrived. Let's see. There's some water. Oh! My savior! I got an achievement! What, the, the greatest one guy in history? You, you, your mining advice actually saved my life. It saved me. Now, even if we don't go deep into the mines, okay? We have to use our repellent when we get up there because it buys more time for our conversion to finish on top of everything else. Might as well. You never know. We never got to mine through this thick-ass substrate earlier because I was offended by its mere existence. Just get whatever you can here. Don't, don't stress out about it too much. We'll do the super run next time. How much you want to bet he forgets to heal? <clears throat> I mean, with financial wisdom like that, are you sure you, sh you should be wasting your time here? Shouldn't you be investing in, like, SPACs or something? Something that's a sure thing, dude? Spanx? No, Spanx is an actual sure thing. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Do people still wear Spanx? I never wore them. It's not for me. And that's okay. I'm, I'm healing one more time. Yes? Don't just say yes. Like... Prove it. Yes, sadly? What's your problem? I saw a Spanx store at the Milwaukee airport. Here's my impression of uh, Josh's great aunt. <clears throat> yeah, they got a Spanx. Have you been to Milwaukee? They got a Spanx store in the airport. <laughs> I don't even know what the, what the accent is. Yeah, yeah, Milwaukee. This would be, you ever been to the city? You ever been to the city? They got a Spanx store right in the airport. Right in the airport. They got a spank store right in the terminal. What is the bit? Yeah, nobody really knows. Nobody talks like that. Yeah, but it's fun to imagine that they do. They got a spank store right in the airport there. All that for a little bit of money. I mean, it's no PGH, but yeah, MSP. It's a pre I would say it's a pretty good year port. There's they used to have a rock bottom. Honestly, we got a little time here. Why not mine out near the edges? Because we got time. 
You never know. You never know. It's not likely. This really just makes it apparent how miraculous it was for us to find that triangle. Holy cow, we're looping, dude. Well, how about that? Let's just, just run it back. Don't go too crazy with it. Every time, every single time. <laughs> So he's replaced Rumbleverse with Domekeeper, yet another fad of the month. What do you... Get a life. It's just such a weird... Alright, look, I'm gonna use some slack. Maybe you, maybe you're like... It's not your first language. You don't understand that how the tone comes across or something. It's a very aggressive tone for a guy playing a video game. It's just, it's not that. See, just chill out, man. Relax. I don't even, I don't even know if you're being angry, but... It's even weirder if you're not angry and you're just pretending to be angry online. Just, ch just chill, man. It's a fucking, it's a Wednesday in October. Just relax. It's like almost the holiday season. It's almost the most wonderful time of the year. We absolutely have to pop it. I know that seems messed up, okay? Why would we do such a crazy thing? Because it gives more time, I think? Is this how it works? It gives more time for the... For the triangle con converter to pop? It should? I feel like that's how it should works. Should work. Should works. Should works. Now this time, don't get greedy with it. Wow, greed! Michael Douglas was right. Greed is good, dude. Semi-greed. Semi-greed. Every fucking time, dude. I'm so fucked up. We could use jetpack speed, honestly. I also want electrified sword, though. Little electrified sword. Get your sword a little bit of amperage there. Uh, the sanest timing doesn't exist. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Six iron to one triangle over four cycles. Easiest decision of my adult life. I'm not even amping up my multiplier yet. I'm waiting. No, I'm amping up my water. Multiplier can come with more triangles. I know we've got like an iron mother load. I think we gotta we gotta use our noggin. I can't believe that it's blocked. We gotta use our noggin. And get... Um, hold on, I had, a, I had a good thought. I promise you it was a good one. Just gotta focus for a second. Or for the rest of my life, potentially. I'm dead. No, I'm not, because I got two triangles. ass. Extreme Justin voice, get his ass. Why won't you die? Wait for it. That was, that was a slap in the face. I live, bitch. Okay. Ooh, left side. Horrible wave. Insanely bad wave. Triangles on the left side. 
diamonds on my fish. Uh, diamonds on my fish. Know what I'm talking about? Why don't you just leave? It costs 30 iron, two triangles. Both, neither of which I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I for gore. Okay. We have a teleporter. Who knew it was so close this whole time? You place it down at the bottom, right? Yes. If I place it at the bottom, can I use it to get to the top or is it only a one way? It's a one way. All right. Thank you. This incredible intelligence. Don't go too psycho. I'm going to say this is our triangle hole, okay? Okay, fine. We were, we were scanning the edges for triangles. We didn't find them. That's life. Four cycles till our next conversion's ready. My internal clock kind of crazy, though. You see in this? Oh! <laughs> we were like a Maleficent off. It's even smaller than a millisecond. You got it. You can't just afford to tank the range damage any longer. Got to use my <laughs> my repellent. It's a huge problem. I forgore. I forgore. He forgore. Jerry. Jerry. He forgore. Sorry. Getting a triangle means it's not all lost. Probably. Just looking for triangles in all the wrong places. I can't place it quite yet. I'm just waiting until I can place it, then I'm bringing it up. I can place it. He makes all the right moves at exactly the right time. He minds everything he wants. He minds everything he needs. He minds everything inside of the mind he wants to uh, see. He minds all the right thing. You know what I'm talking about? Vertical horizon. Whatever happened to Vertical Horizon? Josh, whatever happened to Vertical Horizon? They weren't very good. Yes, true. Very. That's pretty true. When you think about it. <clears throat> I think I could use some jetpack speed. Oh, but I also would... No, we can't afford to be taking any damage, man. We need a bigger reflect size. Like, that's the thing. We need, a, we need a lot of economical related things. But we definitely need to take less damage. And then we need to look for some triangles on the way up.
The user you know as Josh was an experiment by the University of Harvard that took place between 2012 and 2020. No! I don't care if he's a robot. He's my friend. No, that's never coming back. No. Oh! He saved it. Sick Chappie reference. Me when Chappie shows up on the screen. That's Chappie, etc., etc. Yeah, 752. Man, oh man. No oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god. And we got to 12. That's dude, give me some jetpack speed, please. Oh, and heal? Yeah, I suppose. Triangles? There could be... Dude. You know what? Now we know. Now we know. Can you imagine if there had been a lurking triangle the whole time, though? It's the... The sound of a man who's lost his mind. Gotta block this one. Oh! Honestly, though, still a pretty good run. The second best run ever takes me to 752. With no teleporter, I'm honestly not sweating that one at all. You can't see? Look, you can infer. <laughs> you can infer. Anyway, take me back to the main menu. Hit me with a slash marker real quick.